welcome back. I haven't seen you guys in a bit. I took a bit of a break for a few weeks, but I'm back. I'm back painting, which is really good. As you guys know, I've been painting on clothes for quite a bit. Like, I've been painting on jackets and I haven't been painting on actual canvas. So today is an actual um, flat MDF painting. It's really nice to be painting back on the flat surface because it's a lot easier to paint on this than clothes. But yeah, this was for my friend Sheena and her boyfriend. If you guys are interested in this process, just keep watching. Hello, my name is John and welcome to the first episode of Ponder and Paint. So Ponder and Paint is a new series I'm introducing to my channel. It's where I paint and then I also talk about things that relate to my life as an artist or as a person in general. Um, I always paint every week so there's going to be lots of these anyway. But today, for this episode, I really wanted to talk about um, trying to expand my comfort zone as an artist. I don't know if this is something you guys can relate to, but um, I find myself painting the same things over and over again. Well, I mean, um, every painting's different, of course, but uh, I stick to a certain theme, which is nature. And as you can see, this is another nature painting. It's a different type of nature scene, but it is at its core a major landscape scene. And ever since year 12, yeah, year 12 in high school in New Zealand, year 12 is the second last year of high school, um, I've been painting landscape scenes. Always have, and I think I always will. Um, I remember as a, when I was younger, I would always watch these artists as uh, speed paints and the speed paints would always be of uh, guess what <laughs> nature scenes of course and yeah so watching that I think really shaped my um, my taste as an artist like I always want nature scenes I always draw vines I love the color green in paintings orange these are all nature colors and they're always in all of my paintings and um, I love them. I can paint them fast, I think. And I think I can paint them relatively well, which I think is nice. But I always paint them. And I really want to paint something new. I just really want to force myself to get better. Because if, if, my, if nature is my comfort zone, I'd say my comfort zone is like the size of size of a hula hoop but I as an artist want to develop and make that comfort zone like the size of a monster truck because I want to say that I've done it all and that I've tried many different things and then now I know what I like and what I really like because right now I think that I like painting nature scenes but that's just because I've only tried nature scenes I also do portraits but like even the portraits have nature in them so maybe nature might be my calling card as an artist, but right now, because I'm still a young artist, a young person really, I'm only 20, 21, and I, I just want to try more things. I just want to, I really want to see what I can do with my art. I just want to keep pushing it further. I want to try like maybe like a nice city scene, because I've never tried that. Maybe paint like a car. I know my friend Jack wants me to paint a car, so I'm going to do that soon so that I can say that I've done it. I want to paint, like, what else is there? Something abstract, maybe an abstract background. But yeah, I think, well, I guess what I'm getting at is, for you, you the listener, what is your favorite thing? And how many other things have you done? If you can name more than five things, I think that's good because that means you've got pretty big comfort zone. But for me, um, I paint nature scenes and apart from that, um, if I were to try to name other scenes I've painted, I can only name like a galaxy scene and blank backgrounds. I think that's all I've done so far. Which kind of sucks because like I wanna 
I wish I could say I did more, but I'm scared to do more. And why am I scared to do more? It's just because I've never tried it. And the reason why I've never tried it is because I think that I might not be good enough. It might turn out like poo. It might... And I hate making ugly things, even though, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, maybe I just see as ugly, but I just... I know when something is not as good as it should be, and I'm scared of that when I try new things. But it's the year I am 20 now, and I shouldn't be that scared. I always tell people to walk into the room like they own it, and I feel like I should adopt that same methodology in my work. Like, I should get better. Like, I want to do more things, and that's so important to me. So I think with this series, as it continues and evolves, I hope you guys will see me paint more scenes. I think this next scene that I'll be doing, I'll try to do like a like a still life kind of background scene, so where you see lots of objects in it, and that will be a departure from my nature scene, hopefully. So yeah, hopefully the next episode of this is that. If I don't do it, kill me. No I'm kidding. <laughs> But yeah, I have to expand my comfort zone. And you guys have to do it as well. Like if you're a young person like me, I think it's easy for us to say that we've done everything, we know everything, but we really have not. I really have not, and I just want to learn more, trial more, and I think doing that with this painting series might work out really good might develop me as an artist, make me a better artist, make me a better person, and make me fearless. And that is something that I strive for in 2021. So yeah, that's the goal. Ooh, there's the painting. Beautiful. I love this nature scene. That's really cute. But yeah, thank you so much for listening to me ponder and paint. Until next time, bye-bye.